Hey guys, welcome back to Yanchi Plans. This filming setup, you can't, well, here I'll show you a picture. It's very precarious. And so if you see the, the camera wobbling at any point during this video, um, I have bumped the tripod and it's gonna probably tip over at some point. Uh, not final setup, we're in the next apartment. Um, this is technically temporary uh, while we're looking for a place to buy. We don't know how temporary though, so I'm gonna try to get comfortable. Um, it's been a few, a couple, like a week and a half now of like just moving around boxes, like and tiptoeing around boxes to get from one room to the other, and things are finally starting to feel more like home. There's only a few more boxes left. The movers are gonna come back and take some of the, man, there's so much paper, and it's just taking up space. Anyway, the next thing I'm gonna have to do is declutter toys, so if you don't hear from me, my kids mutinied. Uh, anyway, this is going to be a flip through video. Did I say that yet? January 2023 flip through video of my planner. And I'm hoping that this is going to be the last look at this Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebook um, because I am planning to move to a um, a disc setup. I was going to say I printed a couple pages that I'm working on, but um, yeah, I my printer ran out of ink and it was very frustrating because I was trying to get some important paperwork filed. And I can't until at least Wednesday when I get my printer ink back or shipped from Amazon. Anyway, uh, let's just jump in, shall we? It's uh, Outlander Deluxe Pocket Wine is the color, and I've had this for years. Um, I haven't been using it consistently for years, but it does get scratched by my nails and stuff. And so you can see it's got some, um, some love marks there. And we've got pockets. Uh, there's a little bit of cash in the front here and some stickers and stuff in the back and I use the Pilot G2 in the 038 uh, fine point so my hands are at a very odd uh, awkward angle right now I'm sorry about that but hopefully the audio is better well, we'll see the first insert um, is like future planning stuff so I've got months in here from August, September, October, November, um, and then January is the last month that I have in here, so I've got to be out by next month. Um, I don't think that's going to be a problem, but here's January. You'll have seen that in the plan with me, things have been added to it. Then this is, um, oh, like a future log from last, here I'm going to tuck under the tripod. Future log from last year, this is the school calendar. They send out a monthly calendar though, so I've been mostly going off of that. This is less detailed, but I do like that it folds up nicely and fits in here. It's just tipped in. Um, additional future log stuff. This is the last time done. Um, and this, So there's some things that need to get done in January that are like recurring tasks. So I have space for them here. And then they'll mark them off when they get done. And then um, these are like car tasks and other things could go here that aren't um, on like a monthly or bi-monthly basis. This is content planning, or it was content planning, but I'm actually using a digital content planning system right now, which, provided it gets, you know, put together properly, is going to be next week's video. So you'll get to see how I'm using Asana to keep track of all of my content plans um, recently. Um, I did, I think I returned that book. I hope I returned that book. Return these library books. I have to go to the, this is at the, Oh, see, I bumped it. This is at the last apartment. We live next to a library. So we're going to go to the new library that's in the new place. Same system. It wouldn't have been a problem, but I didn't want to lose the books. So I returned them all before we moved. Um, this is a wish list of personal stuff for myself. And then this is birthdays and anniversaries for people in my life. Gift ideas. Didn't actually use any of these at Christmas. And then the rest of this insert is meal planning. So this is like this week's, or last week's. Actually, I made everything that's on here. I didn't check it all off, but I made everything that's on here. And I do need to do some meal planning in the next day or two. This insert has the weeklies and dailies. So let me kind of flip forward to, oh, see, look. My sweet little four-year-old draws pictures of me and her with hearts and suns, and it's very cute. Um, let's see. I'll go back from like, I don't know when I last. This is Thanksgiving, there we go, this is the week of Thanksgiving. And I did a weekly plan with me video with this layout, I think it was this week. Was it really this week? That's super boring. 
looking. There's like no stickers or anything. A couple of dailies. Sometimes I'll use a time ladder if it's a busy day of like errand running. Um, so there's a lot of that going on. St. Nicholas, Microconception. Then um, the stickers that I ordered back in like the Black Friday sale from Mad Hatter came. And so I started using all of them because I had like a week or two before Christmas. I think they came like one week before Christmas and so I went back and I filled them in like here, just adding stickers everywhere I could think of. Um, and that was a lot of fun because I don't usually go overboard with stickers and so sometimes, sometimes it's fun. Um, this is probably my second, yeah, this is my two year old having fun. Uh, these little countdown to Christmas stickers were a freebie from my Mad Hatter order. So I was using those and then making sure to do a daily every day. Um, some days were busier than others. This was the week of Christmas, as you see lots of stickers. I do really like these like journaling embellishment type thingies. Um, I think I just had fun going overboard for Christmas. I feel like I, um, if I got them for everyday times, like I wouldn't use them because I'd be like, oh, there's gotta be a better time to use that in the future. I don't wanna waste it. Um, but in this case, I knew that if I didn't use it, I wouldn't get to use it for a year and that would seem silly. So I just used like almost everything I had. Um, this was last week, so we were going to Tahoe, um, and then we, w we didn't because I got COVID, uh, unfortunately, and so we had extra time to devote to the move because we had to be out by the third, the, sorry, the fourth. We were going to be out of town and then turn in our keys the day after. Unfortunately, we didn't have to do that, but um, more dailies from Christmas because I did a bunch of weeks planning in advance, which... I always recommend, I definitely do it for myself when I have a lot of busyness coming up, like I pre-planned my weeks um, before I had my kids and I pre-planned before this last, the, the move before and before this last move so that I didn't have to come back to it and like feel like I didn't have anything set up. I had a place to put the stuff, you know. Um, yeah, we were driving home from school one day and my four-year-old said, Mom, hand me your, your planner. I want to draw a picture of it in it and she did. It's the same picture over and over again, but I love it. Um, I did have to convince her that we can't just like keep every single picture she draws. So I had a couple of errands to run on Christmas Eve after we got up to my in-law's house because um, I didn't want to like bring milk for Santa on the drive, like I'll buy it locally. Um, so some other things I was putting together a charcuterie board. Um, and then here we are in like, this is moving to the new place. Um, and mostly it didn't end up on here because it's very obvious like what box is right there and you just empty it. Um, so I wasn't really using the planner a lot for that, the big, the, the real push of the move. Um, now that we're more settled in, I can be more selective and I'm doing things like this, setting up the desk and filming a video, which are things that go in the planner as opposed to like, just there are three boxes between me and the toaster so let's unpack those you know um i put these dots as sort of a context thing and i didn't label the contexts but they were like af uh, when the kids are napping after bed that kind of thing um i kind of was using that and i checked off a lot of things that got done on different days than when i wrote it down sometimes i like knowing when i got stuff done because i feel like I don't get credit for it on Wednesday if I checked it off on Monday's to-do list on Wednesday, if that makes sense. But in this case, I didn't worry about it. This is this week, so um, I'm trying out a new weekly layout before I move into printables, so it doesn't even matter. But this is just really basic on this side. Um, I wanted to have some space to do some, I wanted to have a space to mark which uniform is getting worn each day. Because um, we, have, we have any unit laundry here, but it's like a tiny washer, and so I just wanted to stay on top of it, and so I might need to readjust my laundry schedule, um, and so I want to just make sure that I have the uniform. So just visually seeing, she has a light blue polo, a white polo, and a navy blue polo, and then she has free dress on Friday. Um, and then I've got a, I actually did some of these things, I need to check them off, but this is a Alistair Method Weekly, just for the to-do list. Um, and then I keep hoping that like maybe next week will be the one that I'm moving into the discs and using printables again. And I will be telling you all about that. Here, didn't even get to a highlighter, even though they are unpacked now. Um, but well, this was today, and I did 
I did all this. Like, I actually was pretty productive today. Um, sort of at the sacrifice of my husband's own productivity, which I'm feeling kind of guilty about, but this is just sort of a, this is like all the stuff that is the kid's stuff that needs to be unpacked. It's a lot, and they're all in boxes labeled MISC kids, because it's like, okay, this is, this goes in the kid's room, but there's literally nowhere for it to go yet, because they were living out of suitcases. They finally have a dresser now, so I'm going to put all of, try to put all of their toys into the closet, and I know they're not going to fit, so we're going to have to declutter it, like I said. Anyway, that's how far I've gotten into this insert, which is from Zequins. I got it off Amazon. It has the softest, butteriest faux leather cover. Um, and I am, I would say, shy of halfway through. Um, and it's been working fine. I could come back to it and keep using it. Um, the cover on the front started to split some. You can see the glue there. Um, I don't know if that's an issue or not, because it doesn't seem to be having an issue of, of getting damaged in the middle, but I haven't really looked. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, it's nice soft paper and it's dot grid, which I could take or leave. Then the next insert is um, to-do lists, project pages, like, yeah, like if I need to know what needs to get done, this is where it is, and then it gets pulled like to weeklies and dailies. If I were to look at this very often, which I don't usually, things after a while, once I've settled into a system, it seems like I stop using the project pages. But just today I started using a couple because I needed to get my head around them. Self-care bingo hasn't touched it. Um, yeah, running to-do lists, some little project pages. I really like using these goal planning inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. And I didn't mention it, but everything except for this insert is from my own shop, GenshiPlans.com. Um, and if I didn't mention what one of the inserts is, just comment below if you can't see it other than the margin. Anyway, but this one from Peanuts Planner Co. I love and I couldn't improve on, so, um, I mean, I don't know, I could probably optimize it a bit more to my own personal taste, but I, I like it enough as it is, and I like to tell people, go to her shop, uh, peanutsplannerco.com. Anyway, uh, I, there's stuff for moving my business that's becoming a headache, and I want to try to get my mind around it. Then I have general home and away task lists. Um, I haven't, like, I, I finished all the ones for home, and this was the last apartment. I'm going to be filling out a new copy of this at the new place because, like, everything is in the kitchen and it is technically fitting in the cupboards, but it really needs to be reorganized. Um, so, for example, I need to do a lot of reorganization. I've got some decluttering done as we've unpacked. There's more and more of it. Anyway, um, yeah, oh, I did this. I really had reorganized kitchen desk set up, more or less, and I probably shouldn't have checked that off, but I did do Dominic's socks. He upgraded his sock size, and I didn't realize that until after we had moved to the last apartment that his socks didn't really fit. But now he's in the new size. And there's a to read, to watch, to listen, it's mostly to watch. Shows I want to watch um, there, and I don't always look at it. This is the insert for Christmas. You can see um, I got up to here before I stopped filling up the countdown. Then I think I checked off basically everything on the holiday traditions list, except for reading the Bible. Uh, that was at Mass, though. Um, these were the movies we ended up watching. I usually will go back to, like, previous years and copy down, like, a, a bucket list, but these, I was just thinking of them as they came up. We ended up watching a lot of these over and over again. I watched so many more Christmas movies than ever before because I was at home all day with the kids. Um, it turns out... My oldest would like to just watch the Santa Claus over and over and over again. Honestly, it's the best in the series. I don't know why they kept making them. I watched like two or three episodes of that mini series that they, uh, it's, it's, it's better than the Santa Claus three. Anyway, um, stocking stuffers, gift ideas. I didn't end up using this really. We were, I ended up doing my gift ideas list on keep because I was able to collaborate with my husband. We both had it on our phones. We brought that to the store and we were able to check things off together. And I was like moving it up and down into different categories of like, okay, well, we didn't find something at TJ Maxx, so I'll move mom down to, you know, the next store that we're going to or that kind of thing. I've been finding, honestly, digital painting more useful for a lot of things. Um, that was one of them. 
for stocking stuffers, and then this is a list of everybody who needed to be on that other list. Um, this is stuff I wanted to get done in week four. We did, we baked cookies. We made pillow mints. They're very good because are really into mint lately. Then the final insert as it, so it's only been 15 minutes. This could be worse. And I only bumped the, I don't know. I feel like I only bumped the tripod like twice, but it's probably more than that. This is like project pages. So this is sort of a uh, index, but there's no page numbers in here. I just didn't want to bother. They're just in order. Um, and then it continues back here, but there's nothing pretty around it. I didn't have my washi tape at the time. So let me just sort of run down this. Um, we were going to redo, we were going to move the kids into the fourth bedroom, but then we moved out of the four bedroom house. Now we're in a two bedroom and the baby is in with the girls and it's going okay. I'm in here in our bedroom, like recording a video at 10 at night. So it's going pretty well. Birthday party plans, um, notes from a video I watched, notes about sleep training, video ideas. The camping ended up also being done digitally. I've mentioned that before, but basically just it was quicker and easier to type the packing list than to write it. And so then I printed it out and used highlighters. Um, schedule for repricing dated inserts, which I still need to do for January. Um, if you ever want to get old dated inserts, they are steeply discounted. Um, so don't buy them yet unless you see that they're 25 cents for 2023. They should be 25 cents. Uh, that's like the least that they'll ever cost. Um, then let's see, birthday party, oh, my parent meeting from the old school. Uh, I was working on my keyboard, Halloween costume for my second, uh, tasks for myself. So, yeah, I'm tr social media trackers, school comparisons. We were trying to decide where to send our oldest to. And well, one school had an opening. So that's the one she's in. Sorry, I bumped it again. Um, oh, so I have a couple of like virtual visas with numbers here. So I'm obviously not showing you that. Notes for the move, notes for my parents' garden. Um, this was a note, like something that resonated with me in a reel I watched. Packing list for SeaWorld. In notes on sending letters to Santa, which we didn't end up doing. Um, cycle data, I ended up moving that digitally and it's, I'm using an app on my phone instead. Um, but I made it to seven months this time. It was six months with both girls. Um, I made it an additional month, um, and navulatorily. So that's, that was un unnerving. It was like uncharted territory and it felt like a ticking time bomb. Um, there was a lot going on in our lives too, a lot of stress too. Anyway, uh, packing lists the move, the, you know, the other move. I was taking some notes on some of the offers that we finally did accept one on our house. Um, and then, oh, this was actually physically part of a reel that I posted a couple weeks ago. And then packing lists for three other trips and then another list of tasks for my own content stuff. Um, so that I could on my weekly just write Gainchi Plans tasks and then back here, I'm not literally here, like there's a list of it, of things. It's all like the business registration stuff and that redating inserts, like I mentioned, things that need to get done, but it's always like there's something more pressing um, when, like I said, we're living with boxes. We do have furniture for most of things now. Like the first couple days we were using boxes as furniture, but it's coming together. I might give you a tour at some point because I don't, I feel like I'm not gonna hate it. Um, and it's okay. It's small, but it's working. We have a storage unit. Um, anyway, that is my flip through for January 2023. Say goodbye to our little beauty here. And um, I'll see if I can film some clips of myself setting up the new one. I may not even bother. We'll see. Um, I'm excited to get that started though. So that might mean I don't film because filming is a hassle and I'd rather just do it and then show you what it looks like at the end. Um, I have ideas. I got a label maker for Christmas. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. I post videos uh, every Thursday about planner stuff. I also have been posting a lot of like reels and things over on Instagram, so I'm Ganchi Plans over there as well. Don't forget to subscribe here, subscribe there, um, ring the bell if you do that sort of thing, if you are the kind of person who rings the bell, and have a productive day, and I will see you next week. Bye.